these Power Move Gecko star edges are brilliant for getting on the edges, removing stock and going through sanding process where it's sanding wooden floors. Now sometimes they need a little bit of TLC. Sometimes the drive belt can slip on the disc and sometimes it can make a squealing noise. That means that the drive belt is just worn over a little bit of time, just needs a bit of tensioning. You can replace them, but it's a very easy step just to tension the belt to get the most out of the motor to the disc. So we're just going to flip this machine over and I'm going to show you a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to tension the drive belt on it. So now we've flipped the machine over, uh, the first thing we need to do is take this plate off. So underneath here is where the drive the, the drive belt is. So there's four screws here, they're Torx, and you're going to need a T20 bit for it. And then also you need to undo these three screws here, which are T30 Torx. So I'll take this plate off first. So inside here we have the drive belt, which is being driven by the motor pulley here, and it's just going around another uh, pulley that's underneath the steel disc here. So what will happen is you'll hear a squealing noise where the drive belt is just not catching the pulley underneath here, or sometimes you'll feel that you're applying it. You can hear the motor going, but it's just not sounding. That means you need to replace the drive belt or you need to adjust it. I'd always try to adjust it first before you buy a new one just to save you a bit of money and save you a bit of time. So one side I'd always keep a toolkit to have Torx bits in if you need to do this. So to work out if your drive belt is tight enough, what you need to do is just get hold of it and turn it around 90 degrees. So if it can turn around 90 degrees like that and no further and it pings back, that means that it is tight enough. So this one's tight enough, but I'm just going to show you how to adjust it. So we're going to, we're going to loosen these three screws here and that is a T30 bit. So I'm going to get my T30 bit out and do that now. I've loosened these three nuts here. And what we want to do is we want to use this knurling nut to adjust this here. So I'm going to pull on the drive belt and I'm going to twist this just to show you how it's going to work. There we go, so that is fully loose now. Uh, and what that's doing is that's just moving, pulling the plate further inwards for in order for this to be looser. So now for me to pull the plate out, I want to turn the knurling nut the other way. Just keep checking, that's very way too loose. Until you turn the drive belt and you can feel tension when you get it to 90 degrees. Just keep doing it. So that's all adjusted. What you need to do now, and the most important thing, is to retighten these screws because after a while this is going to start moving again once it's being used. So I'm just going to tighten those up. And then put the plate back on. So what we've just done there is we've adjusted the drive belt on the Palman Gecko Star Edger. It just saves you from having to replace a new one. Like I say, these machines are brilliant tools for getting around the edges, removing stock and going through the scratch pattern. But they do need a little bit of TLC and the drive belt that's moving around the pulleys here is such an important moving part of this machine that needs adjusting now and then. So after you've watched this video, I would recommend going in your van, get your Gecko Star out and just check if that drive belt is loose or if it's too tight.